I think you're gonna really like this. You ready? I have a practice for you. Ooh, if you can go through one day doing this, we're talking major shift, major shift, major shift. This is how awakened people function. I'm gonna give you one thing to do that could take you into that space. If you can do this and you can do it every day, you will transform your world. You will open up all of the gateways. Obstacles will dissolve and your world will transform in a way you never thought imaginable. Just doing this one thing, you ready for it? Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through peers and live an amazing life. I've been saying that for five years. Ah, oh, time flies, doesn't it? Oh wait, there's no such thing as time. You ready? I'm going to show you a practice today. And if you do this, you'll transform your entire world. Your entire world. Because your world in a fifth dimension is one that we can't even imagine as fourth dimensional beings. What's a fourth dimensional being? 3D with time. The fourth dimension is time. So that's what we've been walking around doing, you know, our human thing for centuries and we're transforming out of that. We're going into a great awakening and I'm ready to tell you that not only is it happening, but there's nothing stopping you from joining it. You have to let go of everything that has just been our learning experience. And we're going to all high-five each other when we leave these bodies and we're going to say, Oh my gosh, it was all just a test. It was all just a game. How did you do? How did you do it? Remember when we got together and we decided not to argue? And hey, you remember when I put aside that amazing thing I wanted to do because I wanted to take care of you when you were sick? And thank you for being sick. Thanks, I thought I'd play that role for you this time and it wasn't easy being sick. That's how it works. It's all a game. And I don't even like to use the word game because it sort of trivializes things. Now here's the deal. All of that is about what? What do you keep hearing me say over and over again? That we are one thing. There's no separation. It's just an illusion that we create. Limitations are what we create. We're allowed to do that. By doing that, we get to experience density and darkness. When we give it up and we realize that that's really not what we are at all, then we go, okay, well, I, don't, I didn't really have to go into that space, but now I know what that's like. And then we go into this amazing space and then we realize how wonderful it is to be the source of all things unconditional love, amazing. And we're in this amazing awakened space and we go, oh, I know what this is now because I've been there. And that's what we're doing right now. We've been there. And we've all been the murderer and the abuser and the abused and the victim and all these things. You have been all these things. So can you find compassion? Get ready because I'm going to tell you what to do if you want to play my fun little game. If you can find compassion to love the murderer, you've got it all in the bag. Because the whole point is not just to be angry and say something's wrong, is to have the unconditional life, love that Christ did, whether you're Christian or not. Christ was a prophet who showed that unconditional love means everyone, the murderer. And so that means, that's the test, is if you can take the lowest action, activity, experience, and still love that person for exactly who they are, which is a light being that experiencing darkness, knowing that that's within them. And that we're always looking at the victim versus the, the sadness, the, the real sadness and darkness is in the perpetrator. And we must find the solution and the love for that. When we solve that issue, then there will be no murders or abuse or anything else. Anybody who could take an animal and test on them so that somebody could, you know, 
put a cosmetic on their face. Wow. So what if everybody refused to do that and there was nobody that would buy products that do that? I saw that CoverGirl, CoverGirl ended uh, yeah, animal testing. I don't know if they still have animals in their products, but I only use vegan. We have to make individual choices, and I'm going to give you one right now. You ready for this? Here's the key to all suffering on the planet. It's opposition and separation. Because you cannot find fault or separate yourself from somebody unless you're in a lower density. Awakened beings don't see us as separate entities. Awakened beings see us all as one beautiful, amazing creatures, all experiencing their own little journeys without judgment. Now, you want to go into a really super awakened state, and you can simulate this until you practice it and realize it feels really good and it's actually pretty cool. Spend your entire day putting absolutely your thoughts on nothing but the other person in the most positive high frequency. So if you see something that you don't like, instead of thinking about your opinion and your thoughts, 100% of your focus should go on that person, what they're experiencing, your compassion for them, and where that might have come from, with an understanding of love versus analyzing and judging. Can you do it? Good luck. Now, here's what happens when you do it. You'll realize you're expanding in this amazing space out here, quantum physics, right? You start to expand out here, and you're focusing higher frequency on everybody else. You receive everything that you give. Whatever you're giving, you receive. There's no delay in it. You're there. It happens. You're there. You receive it. You're there. You just connect to it. You don't have to wait for anything. There's no delay in that. So when you focus 100% and instead of being annoyed by somebody or opposing somebody or arguing, debate, you, if you go into any negative feelings at all, 100% of that is because you are focused on your ego and what you want and what you think is right. That's ego, that's lower base, that's density. All of it. All right? And this fly that just keeps going by. Okay. Can you spend one day, try it for an hour, can you spend one day and catch every thought about negativity and whatever and flip it around? I call it flip this thought. Flip this thought. Why is this person behaving in a certain way? And maybe they just have an opinion and you don't like it because you don't agree with them. It doesn't make them wrong. So what if you just observe them and realize that any irritation or you know objection that you have is coming from your ego trying to control things? Awaken people, their egos have dissolved. They don't lose their personalities. You can still like have an opinion and you know be you know animated and have fun or drink a glass of wine or <laughs> whatever. You still get to experience being human, but there's no opposition. There's no opposition. In other words, you can voice your opinion without having to be right or wanting somebody to agree with you. So let it all go. So no debates. No discussions. In other words, you will spend your entire day just observing other people with no opinion and actually flipping it around, flip the thought. And if somebody is angry, then flip the thought and say, That's the pain of the that's the pain of the planet. There's the pain of the planet. You don't have to analyze it. Pain of the planet. You see, uh, like a homeless person. We might judge that person. We do it all the time. Ugh, a little scary, right? Okay, so uh, and then you realize that's your fears coming in because they truly can't harm you and we don't know anything about them. So what about looking at them instead of judging them saying they're experiencing something very challenging. 
I don't know their story. But wow, look at that. What is that? And here's the deal. They, not, they may not be struggling. They may be in a more awakened place than you are. So we're assuming that they have an issue or a problem. They may be in a completely amazing place. Now, a lot of times we don't see that, right? We can see that they're stressed out. But I've also seen people that look perfectly fine. And they're like going through an experience. Eckhart Tolle's one, two years, homeless person. He was like, he was in an awakened state out there. And you might have seen him on a park bench sleeping, which he did. He slept in a park bench, I think, for over a year. Right? Can you let it all go? Can you let go of every possible judgment, opposition, opinion? Observe the other and flip your thought toward them in a positive way. In other words, so next time the boss, good luck with this one, or the spouse is being a jackass, so look at them and say, There's, where did that anger come from? Was it learned? Maybe they learned this. Chances are pretty good because most abusers have been abused, right? And so you look at that and you realize it's, a, it's an energy field that's come forward that they're acting on and they're not in a high enough frequency to recognize that and make a different choice. They will. They will. So by you letting go of judgment and negative energy that you're sending to them, you actually help them because we're a collective. So here's what happens to you. All of the density, the judgments, the barriers. And then all of a sudden you see the world as making sense. And the pain, it's still pain. It's still unpleasant. But there's no thought behind it. There's observation. And now this video isn't about stepping in and being the solution because I absolutely think that we need to step up and be the solution. All right? What this video is about, the practice of letting go of the judgment of right, wrong, irritation, the government, the whatever, the this, the that, you know, our skin colors, our education, our who had mo people with money, right? When you can place yourself in their shoes, which is probably not going to be easy, place yourself in their shoes, what are the possible scenarios that would cause them to be a certain way or act a certain way or think a certain way? And by the way, this goes for you. Why would you ever be opposing anybody or, you know, being unhappy or striking out. Where's that coming from? So when you focus on in this practice, everything I do all day long is to find the compassion, let go of the judgment, and look past what's going on and look at the light being that I'm viewing right now, observing. This is a light beam. This is part of a, a play. This is part of the working out of the teachings and the experience. Can I just view that? What is that? That is an equal light beam of which we are one energy shared. We're not separate from one another. That's a reflection of me. I have been that person before. You have been that person before. Every single person you're looking at, you have been that actual person. Don't Let's not go there. It's beyond human comprehension. But now you're viewing it. You're viewing yourself. Can you do it? When you let go and you find the compassion and the love, your world will transform. And all of a sudden you'll realize it's not that tough to do, really. And it feels really good. <sighs> your energy's gonna go up and you're going to feel good and relaxed and your health is going to improve and you're gonna realize we're just all children here. Amazing, beautiful light beings exploring all the facets, 
all of the things we possibly can be. And I'm not here to judge that. I'm participating in it in whatever way I choose. But if I observe it as something perfect and beautiful, it will dissolve. All the issues and problems will start to dissolve because I no longer see it as lower than me. When you see everything perfect, it becomes perfect. You create that reality. You are whole, perfect, strong, and powerful, loving, harmonious, and ha happy. <laughs> My internet marketing, if you wonder what that is, that's my internet marketing training. I spend uh, every week, I s go live with my uh, student. They're not my students, but the students, because uh, I'm one of the students too, learning how to create new amazing things that are going to change the world. Seeing each other is amazing and collaborating. Very spir spiritually minded community here. Go down into the description or go to landryanka.com for all of my courses. If you want to step into the New Earth Master Class, that's there. And then I have the New Earth Workshop, which is pretty extensive. And I give you a whole bunch of practices. I mean, there's a, a, like a dozen practices and videos and lessons. And, you know, I give you fun stuff like this every day to do. And you're focusing on nothing but raising your frequency. And it takes practice. All right? I'm going to talk to you in the next video about what the fifth dimension is, because I've been there, and uh, it's easy to go into it, but you have to master this practice first. You're ready to do it. You're unconditionally loved. You're never alone, because we're one. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.